Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have 50 big money bolos coming your way. Unexpected, most of them, but these are items that I shared in my Bolo Buddies Facebook group. And a lot of them, if you're in my Facebook group, you probably missed number one, or you saw it, clicked on it, checked it out when I posted it, but never went back to see what it sold for. So I am gonna share with you 50 big money bolos that I found on eBay that sold for big bucks that I know I am going to be looking for. So this is one way that I research is I look at auctions that have high number of bids. I don't look at what they're selling for like the most, but I look at those number of bids and I make sure that there's a lot of unique bidders. Um, I try not to go for the ones that only have one bid or for the ones that um, have two people bidding against each other. I try to look for things that show that the item is an item that people really want. Um, and that's how I learn. Um, I used to sell only clothing, only clothes. I started in 2005. Um, so I've been reselling for a long time. It is my full-time job. It is my passion. I love it. Um, I'm so thankful for what I do every day. It's just, I love it. And I started YouTube to learn, honestly, um, and to help others learn. So let's get into these 50 big money bolos. All right, here we go. And the first item. Oh, and by the way, if you're not in my Facebook group, there's a link down in the description of the video. Definitely come on over and join us. All right, the first item is this little house on the prairie lunchbox. It's got the thermos. Um, let me see if I can get you a picture of the thermos here. There you have it. How cute is that? And this, it's got a sticker on the inside. That's funny. I don't remember seeing that. Maybe I didn't look at all the pictures. But um, this one sold for $210.50 with 52 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Disneyland poster from 1962. So it's a map. This sold for $510. Um, the buyer paid the shipping. I do have a Bolo category video on Disney items to be on the lookout for. So you can go to my YouTube channel and you can look for that and check it out. The next item is this vintage Pokemon 23 karat gold Burger King lot. So I'm still not clear on what these are. If you guys can put in the comments, explain this to me, 23 karat gold, like I mean, they're from Burger King. So I'm just confused. Uh, I think these were probably like a Happy Meal toy. But um, not sure what makes them special. They sold for $83 with 60 bids and the buyer paid shipping. So let me know in the comments what these are all about. The next item is this vintage talking G.I. Joe. So um, I'm not sure why he's so special, if it's because it's got the original box or if he's just really rare, but he sold for $1,324.99 and the buyer paid the shipping with 45 bidders or bids. I'm sorry, not bidders. Uh, shiny bright, shiny bright, um, Christmas ornaments can definitely be a bolo. This one has the original box. They look to still have their glitter and their bright colors. They're really, really pretty. These went for $223.50 and the buyer paid the shipping. So if you go into bids, this is typically what I will do. I will go in and I will look at the unique bidders and there's 11 different people bidding on this item. Um, now, this person only has one feedback where, you know, sometimes that can be a thing, but most of the time, some people just come onto eBay because they find the item in Google search and it's something that they really want. So don't be afraid of the zero and one feedback. I have people with zero feedback buy from me all the time and they pay. Do I have people that don't pay that have zero feedback? Yes, but I have people that don't pay that have a thousand feedback. So it's not always a uh, good indicator as to whether or not someone's gonna pay. But you can see there's 11 unique bidders they started the auction at $9.99. So what an exciting auction. But just to let you guys know, when um, I do post these in my Facebook group, 
I typically go in and look at this information so that I'm giving you guys good information based on the bid history of the item. Uh, okay, so this is a Prexy tobacco um, tin. It's a tin. Uh, they're calling it a metal tin can gas oil sign. I don't know why they're calling it a sign because it's a tin. Anyway, this sold for $965.55. Um, absolutely crazy. Um, I do have a video on tins, vintage tins. The five top selling tins that I could find to look for in a separate video. And Oyster Tins is one of the top five that I found. Now, um, are there others? I'm sure. But just when I was researching, I picked the top five that I found. So Oyster Tins, huge money if you can find the right ones. This one is um, a one gallon and it's used. And it sold for $2,325, you guys. How crazy is that? 48 bids. The next item that sold is this Dinosaurs Baby Sinclair, not the mama plush stuffed animal from 1991. The winning bid was $80 with 26 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Okay, Briar Horses, kind of one of those things that you really got to know what you're looking for. Some of them are bread and butter. Some of them are big money. This one had 72 bids. The buyer paid the shipping and it sold for $188.50. How would you guys have sold these? Would you have sold them as a lot or would you have sold them individually? I think I would have sold them individually, but that's just me and I am not an expert on briar horses. The next item is very distracting. This background, I hate it because you can't see the toys. Like I really want to see the toys. Um, I have sold, I think it's the lion. I don't know, whatever that thing is with the saddle. I've sold one of those before and I did, it was a bolo for sure. Um, I don't know lots about these toys, but I know that some of them individually can go for big money. I'm not sure about these, but this ended up selling for $815. Um, they're all masters of the universe. That's what M O T U stands for. If you don't know that. Um, and yeah, let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, do you think it was a reseller buying it or a collector? The next item that sold is this vintage 1974 Pillsbury Doughboy Uncle Rolly and Poppy Fingers puppets in their car. This sold for $261.50 with 79 bids and the buyer paid shipping. Never seen that one. Probably never will. Okay, so this is a vintage Turtle Trade Mark Willow basket trout fishing basket. And... um. There's only one image. So they may have been using like an image. Um, I think there's like a, I don't know if it's like an application or a secondary service where you can put them down in the description and then you delete them. But we only get one photo here. And I think when I shared this in the group, there was more photos. So that's a bummer. The next item are these Madison Silo salt and pepper shakers from 1970s. They sold for $132.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is the Polly Pocket uh, Bluebird. So Bluebird, when they say Bluebird on the bottom, that's when you know they're vintage. So this seller probably made a mistake by not having all of these figures in the original photo. Um, I think that they would have sold this maybe for more if they would have showed that because I think I know in the Facebook group, a lot of people were commenting like, oh, it doesn't have any figures. That's why it's not going for so much. But if you get to the last picture, some of the figures are there and it's cut off, which is odd. Um, I mean, you can see up here. I don't know. They didn't do a very good job with the photos on this, in my opinion, but it still sold for $515 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage brass spirit padlock and key. Um, and it says magic and Tommy joke shop. So, huh? I wonder if it's 
some sort of like trick. Huh. Uh, it said haunted house from a haunted house. And um, so this might be one of those people that's uh, saying it's haunted or something like that. I don't know. The performer places it. So maybe it's a magic trick. Not 100% sure, but it sold for $255, 41 bids. A lot of times people will say that something is haunted uh, to try to increase the value. I, I would not do that, you guys. I, I don't know. I just personally, I, I wouldn't do it. That's just me. I don't know if you're allowed to do it on eBay, if eBay has rules against it. Uh, be careful with that. I do know that people do it and they do um, profit because of it. But um, I guess to each their own, right? Okay, the next item is this smallpox vaccine tube from Berkeley Cutter Laboratories. It's vintage and it's medical and it's rare and it's probably nothing that we will ever find and it's such a weird, random, unexpected bolo. And it sold for $394. What do you guys think? Some sort of powder buildup. Ah, that's just weird. Okay, the next, I don't know if I'd want to touch that without gloves. The next item is this 1983 Avon Little Blossom talc with puff and whisper soft cologne. I know that these puffs are definitely a bolo. Um, that's probably what drive the price up on this one. You can check out my Avon Bolo category video for more Bolo items that are Avon that sell for big money. There are still some that sell for big money that are Avon. This sold for $208.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Baltimore Oilers um, fitted wool hat. This sold for $282.88 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Mortal Kombat t-shirt. It is a gamer shirt, it looks like. It says video game rare. Um, it looks like it's single stitch. Uh, maybe not. I'm trying to see here. Does it say? It looks... I don't know. 1992. Maybe it's not single stitch. Nope, it's not single stitch, and it's not in great condition. And it's still sold for $1,625. 71 bids, guys. That's crazy. Uh, the next item that sold is this vintage camp military two burner stove made in Sweden. Sold for $548 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item are these vintage Bluebird Poly Pocket People Animals Furniture. So these are just the accessories. These are the vintage Bluebirds, so they're the little teeny tiny ones, and these sold for $258, 22 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage dollhouse miniature plant stand. So miniature dollhouse items can do really, really well. It just varies. There is a huge market, but some of them go for very little, and some of them go for big money, and I can't tell you what is what? So this one sold for $69.04 and the buyer paid shipping. And I do have a Bolo category video on dollhouse items. So this is the vintage Ideal Tammy Sister Pose and Pepper Patty No Freckles Carrot Hair Doll. And I'm telling you, she looks to be in mint condition there. And she sold for $560, 61 bids, buyer paid shipping. This is just um, a weird pose, if you ask me. Um, he doesn't look like a fighter. He looks like um, he's modeling for like a romance novel or something. And this is a WWE Shawn Michaels HBK WrestleMania t-shirt. And it sold for $232.50 and the buyer paid shipping. And it does say the heartbreak. What do you guys think? Do you think it looks like a romance novel? or a wrestler, and it's even got a big hole in the armpit. <laughs> the next item is this vintage 1970s John Deere Snowmobile Helmet Boys, oh wait, I'm sorry, box, not boys, extra large. So I don't know if that's a youth size or not, um, but it sold for $231.50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Lego system 
uh, Dragon Masters uh, Lego set. And it is vintage from 1993. And it's an old one, guys. And this sold for $850. It's new old stock. How cool is that? The next item that sold is this Monster Stickers Easy Peel. And it's never been used. It sold for $365 with 40 bids and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Vintage Goldfish Graphics Collectible Fireworks Label. So this is just the label, and I was hoping for more pictures. Um, you're not allowed to ship fireworks, um, but you can sell the labels, and people collect the labels, apparently. This sold for $142.50, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item that sold is this Vintage Peaches and Cream Barbie, and I had this Barbie as a kid, and I know I sold her, um, I think it was mine. I don't know, because I bought a bunch of Barbies at a garage sale. It might have been in there. I can't remember. But um, I've sold this before in a lot, and I probably should have sold her separately, even though she was not in the original box. I still had her dress. So anyway, it sold for $226 with 47 bids, and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, vintage Asian themed decor, artisan dollhouse miniatures. This is super cool. So artisan means that somebody made it. So I, I don't know, maybe, um, I don't know. Cause some of those things don't look handmade, but super cool sold for $335 and 57 cents buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Pokemon, and I thought it was like a handheld game, but somebody told me it's like a information guide like thing. I don't know. Pokedex is what it's called. So I got schooled on that one. But either way, it's new old stock Pokemon handheld gadget sold for $315, 84 bids in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is Mountain Man Treasures. He is a member of my Facebook group. Troy is awesome. He has a great YouTube channel. He is a bolo finder. Be sure to check out Mountain Man Treasure. He sold me, he sold me, he messaged me on Facebook and said, hey, I have um, a game auction going on right now. It's Dark Tower. And I said, send me the link. And I shared it in the group and it ended up selling for $238.49 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this antique micro beaded floral 1920 drawstring purse. This is beaded, you guys. Look at the beadwork on that. And would you have picked this up if you saw it or would you have walked by it? It sold for $82, 44 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage Pyrex daisy round dish. This sold for $2,026. And Pyrex is very controversial when I post it in my group. Lots of opinions. Now, I guess this pattern is not what made this go for so much, but the fact that it's this pattern on this bowl. Um, I do have a lot of people in the group that know about Pyrex. So whenever I post these, I get a lot of really good comments telling me why something has value. So um, Pyrex is hard to research. I would recommend joining a Pyrex group and asking around before you post it on eBay. The next item is this vintage lace trims. Two bolts sold for $110.50 and the buyer paid shipping. This is super cool. It's mint. It's rare. It's a vintage Halloween candy container. It's a nodder, which is kind of like a bobblehead thing. And you can see the bottom here made in Germany. And it's from the 1920s, you guys. Vintage Halloween is definitely a bolo. Check out my bolo category videos on vintage Halloween items. You will be amazed. This sold for $1,276.03 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this RCBS Vintage Heavy Duty JR2 Reloading Press. No clue, some sort of tool sold for $160.50 in the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this vintage G.I. Joe 1985. It says near complete, huge playset Cobra. 
So I would not have used this as my first picture. I would have used like, I would have laid everything out and had everything in the picture. That's what I would have done. Um, because you've got all of this stuff and you can't even see it because this is your main picture. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Maybe I'm wrong. But this did end up selling for $1,276.76. Do you think it would have sold for more had the main picture showed everything included? Let me know what you think in the comments. The next item is this new in the box Kitty Kitty Kitten Siamese Sammy Cat. Sold for $380. Buyer paid shipping. These are definitely a bolo. I have sold um, one of these that was new. Um, I'm sorry, not new. Mine was well loved, no box, and it sold for big money. So definitely be on the lookout for these. The next item that sold is this eBay best. I don't know why they put that end of the day, end of day. I don't know why they put that Bakelite bracelet. Um, I, yeah, I don't know. I don't get the title. Do you guys, do you think somebody just painted it and it's kind of like, it's not really even eBay colors. I don't know. I don't get it. But it sold with 81 bids for $194.50 buyer paid shipping. And I just released a bid video on how to test for Bakelite. So you can go and check that out also. Again, this one has a horrible picture. Um, I guess it doesn't matter if you have the right item. These vintage 1960s Levi's sold for $725. You can see the condition is pretty worn. Um, and they still sold for $725. That's crazy. I mean, look at the tag. It's even a mess. Big E, guys. That's what you're looking for, the Big E. The next item are these Cracker Jack Tin Litho Toys. Um, I do have a question. If anybody knows, how do you know if they're Cracker Jack toys? Is there any identifiable marks, markings? Are they signed? Let me know in the comments if you know. This sold for $598.93 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Blythe doll. Um, it's an original Kenner blonde with clothes. Now it says that it works. Check out the eyes. They change colors. <laughs> I didn't know that. That is so cool. And she sold for $1,586. Crazy. Somebody explain to me how those eyes work. I've got to know. The next item is this unused new old stock, my first Sony Walkman. Um, it's new old stock, still in the box, sold for $158. And it's got this really cute um, graphic advertising of the kid dancing and says my first Sony with the thumbs up. So super, super cool. And you can see the packaging. It's just a neat item. So the next item is this rare vintage 1958 Sun Rubber Company. Um, Sunny the Bear Pink Jointed Squeak Rubber Bear sold for $1,626 with 48 bids. Unreal. No clue why this is so special, but how amazing is that? Definitely be on the lookout for that guy. Girl. Probably a girl. It's pink. Uh, the next item, a member of my Facebook group sent me this one and they said they had had it in their closet and they decided to list it and they were glad they did. It's a 30 year old WCW professional wrestling pillowcase. It's rare um, and it sold for $51. It's just a pillowcase. 11 bids, buyer paid shipping. The next item are these Scenario vintage pencils with erasers. And this sold for $204.50 with 51 bids, free shipping, super, super cool. Everybody uh, kept commenting, I used to have these, I used to have these, I wish I would have kept them. Definitely a cool bolo. The next item is this Vintage Economics Books from Irving Fisher. And it says 1907 to maybe 1930, sold for $760, you guys and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold is this car. It's a Hot Wheels car. It's a van and ended up selling with 48 bids, uh, $84 and the buyer paid shipping. 
The next item are these vintage Larry Mahan Rodeo Sweetheart Valentine Cowgirl Boots, size eight, sold for $410 with 68 bids and the buyer paid shipping. All right, you guys, 25 minutes in and you just got 50 big money unexpected bolos. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Do you like this type of video? Um, if you're in my Facebook group, is this something you want to watch or do you feel like I've already seen them? Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. Have a great night and I'll see you at the next video.